Hello, everybody. Welcome to a Film Ionosphere. I have these really interesting photos to show you today. These are photos that I have extracted from my original filmed orbed footage. I have enlarged them so you can see the incredible complex color changes that these orbs display. These have not been altered. They have not been retouched or, or uh, hoaxed or recreated in any way. I do use a proprietary method for extracting these. Here's one with two orbs. There's a small red one on the right hand corner and then this is an enlargement of the larger one. And there's the small red one. There were at times more than uh, one orb but I've only succeeded so far in being able to uh, find two images of the orbs uh, where there's more than one. I'm only showing you one here on this particular investigation. So they have these incredible complex color changes and there's also this faint outline in the background if you look at it you'll see it. It appears infrequently, um, but frequently enough, it's the shape of a urn perhaps or a vase-like or bell acorn shaped and it has a definitive uh, top cap and bot bottom. Now these orbs are, are shape changers so even though it is infrequent you can notice it if you look for it. Now these are not images that you're going to find on the web anywhere else. You are seeing close up what these orbs do second to second. They change into these complex color patterns in the wink of an eye, just incredibly fast, just one right after another. And also it's my thought that this is a language of light between these orbs. There's other orbs in the area and this is how they communicate. Or, or it could be possibly the operators of these orbs that they're communicating with. Now, you know, aliens, as far as we know, and some people seem to believe, is that they use telepathy. Uh, so why is it uh, such a far-fetched idea to believe that they use language of light to communicate? Uh, I think if you were uh, intent on creating a language using language of light, I think it would be completely possible. Uh, these orbs, they fade in and out and uh, tells me that they can do interdimensional travel and it's just no consequence. It's just something they can do. They just seem to fade in and out of our dimension. Uh, you can see, if you look at them, that they are not spinning. Because if they were spinning, the blur effect would be completely different. What you're seeing here is the type of blur effect when something is vibrating back and forth very quickly. So um, I'm sure at certain times this frequency does vary, and that may be uh, what causes its shape to change because it's fading in and out on its frequency. There's that face like shape that was in that yellow one there. If you look at the blur, displayed it's definitely back and forth vibration now this motion is in alignment with current theories on interdimensional travel or time travel now that being said these orbs most likely are satellites of info gatherers from the future now I know I'm really going out on a limb here but they're like cameras that we send to other planets uh, but what kind of information are they gathering this is the question, if this is indeed the case, because it could be critical information for some cause, or it could be something more rudimentary, or perhaps even frivolous. You know, it could be for entertainment, perhaps. Anyway, I will be continuing my examination of this phenomenon in the future. And I have some more to tell you. 
So, until the uh, next investigation, I want you all to realize that these orbs most likely are not a threat. I don't see them, you know, coming down and killing us. The danger is, is that just like a light socket, let's say, in your home. Now, the light socket or the plug where you plug things in has electricity in there. Now, you grab an extension cord and, or a plug for a lamp or something and you plug it in. The electricity does what electricity does. It doesn't have any decision, right or wrong, about what it's doing. It just does what it does. It moves from that point to the next point to take care of whatever it is it's supposed to do. Uh, just like these orbs, could be the same, same exact problem. They may not have an intention to do harm, but simply getting close to one could involve you becoming injured, or perhaps even worse. Now, I've, like anything else, I think you can get close enough so that uh, if you do see one of these, um, try to get a tripod, of course, uh, or put that cable, uh, put that camera on something stable so that it doesn't jump around and you end up with this blurry picture or this picture that's constantly moving. Try to stay calm and remember that you're filming something that is extremely important and of intense interest for many people in the UFO community. Okay, everybody out there, uh, stay safe and uh, keep looking for UFOs. Keep posting them. And try to discover as much as you can from your other fellow UFOers about what it is and what's happening and what we're dealing with. Good luck, and I'll talk to you soon on a Fill My Honest Fear next investigation.